Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is Cogan Cassius for I from London. We're at the Nottingham Arena. With me, I've got still the IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Carl Froch. Yusef Mack, inside three rounds. Talk to me about it. Short and sweet. I thought it would have been a little bit sharper earlier on and thrown more shots in response to my jab. I was waiting for him to, I was trying to trigger him, expecting him to come back with a lot more, but I think he was frightened of my power. I, I caught him with a body shot early on, straight right down the park, and a couple of jabs sort of stiffened him up. And, I was jabbing his arm because it's quite awkward. So maybe, maybe he just thought to himself, I'll try and ease into it. But I think the crowd may have got to him. I, I don't know what, what was your question because I was expecting more myself. Yeah, I mean, but I, I, I hit him and I hurt him and I got him out of there as, as quickly as I could. I was always going to try and get him out of there as quickly as I could, but um, I'm surprised it was that fast. The first round when he came out, it looked as though he was going to, you know, I thought he was. It looked like he was going to give it some, mm. to be honest. But um, once, it, once the fight got going and obviously you, you settled in, it was, like I said, three rounds and it was, uh, well, it's history as they say. Yeah, it seemed like every attack I put on him, because I was sort of sitting back behind the jab, giving him the opportunity to, to bring something to me and, and let a few shots go so I could slip and slide and block and counter punch. I've been working on counter punching for this fight, boxing and moving, yeah. counter punching, cut the ring off when he goes, don't chase him. Um, and then when we get into the mix, when we get into range, do what I do, he'd let my heavy hands go and body, head, I hurt him. But it never really it never really um, materialised into that kind of a fight. It was it was almost stand off with a jab, have a look, have a look. And when I decide to attack, the attack half kills him, you know, half gets him out of there. So, but I caught him with some big shots. A couple of them body shots were crushing. And uh, I think once he got hit with a couple of them shots, he was thinking to himself, oh dear, this hurts. And he wanted to go home. There's um, a, lo a lot of possibilities uh, as regards to your future. So, I mean, there's always talk of Wald, Kessler, Butte, uh, where it's going to be, etc., etc. But if you could have your pick of, of the fight and the venue, you said that you'd, you'd be at the city ground, you're Nottingham Forest, and against who would it be? Mikel Kessler at the city ground, that's the fight. Because that's. Mikel Kessler's still a good fighter, he's a, he's a, he's a proud warrior. He's a, you know, he's, he's a man of my own heart. He likes to stand and, f not that we stand there and fight like sluggers. He boxes and moves, he's a great, he showed he can box. But when it comes to it, he'll stand and he'll mix it up and he'll give the crowd what they want. He won't hold, he won't duck and dive, he won't try and survive. He'll, he'll fight to the end, you know, like a true warrior. And that's why I'm his friend as well, because we, we, we keep in touch, me and Kessler. I speak to him every now and again. But he's the sort of fighter that will bring an exciting fight for television, for the British boxing fans for even an armchair fan that's not really into boxing, that they just they can appreciate two fighters putting it all on the line. If you've not seen the Carl Froch Mikel Kessler fight, get it somehow and have a look at it. And then think about the rematch at the Nottingham Forest City Ground. It'd just be phenomenal for me. I mean, the Ward fight, I want that because I'd like to set the record straight. And I'm not saying if I fight Ward, I'll beat him. I'm saying I'd like to fight Ward because I think I can beat him. I think I know what to do. And if I turn up in my A game, in, in top form like I did do tonight, like I did do against Luton Butte. I don't think, forget war, I don't think anybody can beat me. I really don't. Um, but I'd rather fight Kester first and then go for Ward. That's the move. And the, the Luton Butte rematch, I'm not sure is going to happen because I don't know, he's, he's, not, he's not making the right noises. Hopefully we get the fight and we'll go to Canada and we'll, we'll do what we said we'd do from the start. He fights me here, then I fight him in Canada. But we'll see what materialises from that. Eddie Hearn's been talking to Jean Bedard, his, his promoter. And uh, he don't seem to be sort of saying, yeah, come on, let's come over in March, let's, let's get it on it. I think they want another fight, a little warm-up. They want me to do something else and then maybe we'll fight. So after watching me tonight, he's probably going to think, you know what, Froch is good, he punches hard. He battered me last time. I don't want another beating. And quite frankly, I don't blame him. You know, he's, he's a human being and he, he don't want to get beat up again. But where else is he going to go? And if he's got any chance at all, it'll be in Montreal in his home city. If he can get fired up with a crowd and... So I think he should take the fight. If he's got what it takes and he got what he, he thinks it takes to come back into this sport at top level, he needs to fight me. But um, I think I'll crush him in Canada, wherever it is, again. Um, more importantly than the um, Super Middleweight title, you've just announced that Rachel's four months pregnant, having another baby. Yeah, Rachel's pregnant. I'm really proud to say that I'll be um, father of two children. If it's, if it's a boy, would you consider the name Coogan? Um, probably not, no. Don't sound right, does what it? What about Cassius Froch? 
No, 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 no. Cougan Cassius Frost. My friend David's got a boy called Cassius. Cassius Hay. He's got a nice ring to it, so I can't have that name. So my name's not even in the hat. My name's not in the mix, unfortunately. <coughs> Where's your name from, anyway? Where is it? It's a god in Sri Lanka. Oh, is it? That's the truth. Well, it's definitely not going to be then, because I'm an atheist. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to pick a Sri Lankan god, am I? Oh, you could do. <laughs> Well, listen, listen, congratulations. Like I said, job done tonight. Yeah, definitely. We'll move on to hopefully these super fights you're talking about next year. Get on to uh, your promoter, your smug promoter, Eddie Hearn, who's standing there watching this interview. Make the fights happen for the fans. Eddie Hearn's a man. If it's going to happen, it's under the Eddie Hearn, the master, the man that's taken over, taken over. And there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of bitterness and jealousy out there. And every time I see or read a bit of bitterness and a bit of jealousy, it makes me smile, it makes me feel good. So keep it coming. Old fish eyes knows what I'm talking about, but um, Christmas time, Christmas pudding, a little bit of brandy, back on the training, big big year next year, 2013 is our year. Right, well, we'll look forward to it. I from London will be there, obviously. I from London are there all the way. We are there all the way. You're always, I look, <laughs> I look around you, you're there, wherever, wherever I am, you're there. Even though you haven't considered me for a name for your baby, young mug. Right. <laughs> it's right. always a pleasure, mate. Take care. Carl Froch. Thank you very much for talking to my from London and, uh, well, enjoy your break. Yeah, we'll do. Thank you going you. on holiday? No, we're going to the um, Oceana for the no, after party. No, I mean, if you're going on holiday after, a little break. Forget the holiday now. We've got Christmas to get out of the way. We've got a kid now. I've got to stay at home. Are you coming to the after party? No, I'm going back to Essex. Oceana, Grey Goose, that big. Yeah, no. Women. I'm driving and I need to get back home. All right, fair enough. Spent too much time in Nottingham. Eddie's on me anyway. He's winking. He wants, he wants to come. Mm. He don't miss a trick, Eddie. <laughs> Co Coogan Cassius with still the, the IBF super middleweight champion Carl Froch for iFilm London thank you very much iFilm London over and out peace